Have you ever noticed that it doesn't matter how beautiful a video looks if the sound is bad? If you wanna make your video content truly great, you need to focus on audio quality as well. So what's the best microphone to use for a voiceover or a podcast? What about the best USB or handheld mic? In this video, we'll tell you what you need to know to make an informed decision. We'll tell you the one you should buy and talk about their strengths and weaknesses. Learn what you need to know so that you can pick the right one for your project. I'm going to be using the winning mic for each segment so you can hear for yourself what each mic sounds like. A professional voiceover will be clear and have a low noise floor. Both dynamic mics and condenser mics work well for voiceovers. Condenser microphones will have a higher sensitivity offering more detail, whereas dynamic mics work well when you need to pick up only what's in front of them. The Austrian Audio OC16 costs $400. It's a large diaphragm condenser mic with a cardioid pickup pattern, offering low cut filter and transformerless design. This is a mic that can be used on just about anything, from gentle soft voices to the loudest sound. The OC16 handles up to 148 decibels SPL. Likely to be a bit oversensitive for the use on location, it's a great choice for voiceover work. If you want your voice to sound its best, choose a mic that will get it to the next level. The Austrian Audio OC16 is a great sounding voiceover mic. Its strengths are that it includes a case and shock mount, handles loud sound sources up to 148 decibels, and has a low cut filter to roll off low frequencies you don't need. Its weakness is its slightly higher price than other mics in its category. Honorable mentions include the Rode NT1, Sennheiser MK4, and the Sony C80. When considering a mic for podcasting, dynamic mics work really well. This is especially true when the podcast is two or more people talking. This is because dynamic mics are less sensitive, so they're unlikely to have as much bleed from the other speakers as a condenser mic. Their pickup falls off faster than those typical on condenser mics. The Rode Procaster costs $230. It offers a cardioid pickup pattern, and the frequency response is designed specifically for voices, making it a great companion to even the deepest voice. It's a rugged mic that is made for podcasting. It also includes an internal pop filter. If you need to sound great on your podcast, choose the Procaster. Its strengths are its robust build quality and great rear rejection. Its weaknesses are that its mic clip can be overcranked easily and it's gain hungry. We recommend an inline preamp. Honorable mentions go to the Shure SM7B and the Electro Voice RE20. If you think we got any of these choices wrong, tell us in the comments. You might even change our minds. We get our hands on all of the products we recommend. And because our buyer's guides are living documents, we're always updating them as new products are released and as we discover better ones. If you would like more information on mic types and how to buy a mic or to see our most recent picks, click on this card or the one in the description. A USB mic is a great tool for getting better computer audio. Use it for voiceovers or just to improve the sound of your voice on your next video call or live stream. You can get the Shure MV7 for $225. This podcast mic is both a conventional XLR mic and a USB mic, making it quite versatile. The MV7 is made for podcasting. It's great at picking up the human voice. It has a cardioid pickup pattern and comes with a built-in pop filter to prevent plosives. With the mic, you can capture up to 48 kilohertz in 24-bit. That will allow for any capture at this sample and bitrate to be more flexible for post-production. It has an integrated touch panel interface, allowing you to control its levels, monitor mix and headphone volumes, and mute the mic if necessary. If you're looking for a good USB mic, the Shure MV7 is the one to get. Its strengths are its mute button, XLR and USB output, and its easy access headphone and input control. Its weakness is its mini USB connection. Honorable mentions go to the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus, the Samson Q9U, and the HyperX Quadcast S. Handheld mics are great for on-camera talent or for a voiceover. Use one for run-and-gun interviews in noisy environments where you don't have time for a lavalier. Handheld mics can also be used on a stand to pick up audio from a subject who won't be moving around. Handheld mics can deliver a very rich, full sound. However, if you don't want your microphones in the shot, 
a LAV or a shotgun mic would be a better option. The SE Electronics V7 costs just $100. It's a handheld dynamic microphone that works well in many different situations. It features an aluminum diaphragm and super cardioid polar pattern, making it very directional rejecting noise from everywhere but in front of the mic. If you're looking for an affordable, all-use mic, the SE Electronics V7 is a great choice. Its strengths are its rugged construction, great sound quality, and super cardioid pickup pattern. Its biggest weakness are only found in the Chrome option. Stay away from the Chrome option. There have been many consumer complaints about its quality. The honorable mentions for this category include the Shure SM58 and the Austrian Audio OD303. Our buyer's guides are living documents. Challenge us because it might just change our minds. To see our current list of the best mics for video production and to learn more about mic types and how to buy a microphone for video production, click on this card or the link in the description. Thanks for watching.